Hello and welcome to Youve TV. In today's episode, we're going to review the LaVolta DC power supply, model number BPS-305. So let's head across the workbench and put it through its paces. Here we have the box. Let's get a knife and open up and see what's inside. Oops. So first off we have the generic Chinese user manual, power cord, alright let's tip it on its back, Okay, so let's just get this out. Ooh, nice snug fit. So, very well packaged, we'll give it that. So, this is what we get. Um, feels quite heavy, which is a good sign. So here we have. So looking at the front, so it's the LaVolta DC power supply model number BPS 305. Uh, nice, simple, clean interface, big green power button, one channel. Negative, plus, and ground. Um, so on both current and voltage, it's very simple. We have a coarse adjustment and a fine adjustment. Um, there's a center button here, which alternates between high and low. We'll look at that when we turn it on. On the bottom, four rubber feet. Good solid construction, and on the back, it is quite heavy. On the back, let's have a look. So we have standard power socket with built-in fuse. Um, we have a voltage selector between selects between 110 volts or 220 volts. So as the label says, the output can be from 0 to 30 volts and 0 to 5 amps with a maximum of 150 watts. Okay, so let's... I've just noticed there's meant to be, meant to be with this, a set of uh, leads, power leads, but other than the actual mains cable there's no power leads so that's the first negative against this purchase i shall have to get onto amazon and get them to give me some free ones so obviously it'll come with a cable that's suitable for your country this is the uk so we have a standard uk three pin plug with the normal connector for the socket on the back so it's got a central handle which you really need because it is quite heavy um, good strong handle, good fixings. Okay, let's get this connected up and we shall see what it can do. So, first of all, plug in the power cable. If I can get this thing untwisted, there we go. Okay, so plug that in the back. Turn it round and we plug it into a wall socket.
Now that came on as soon as I plugged it in, so the power button must have been on. So let's turn it off to start with and we'll see if we can get a better angle for the camera. Okay, so I've managed to find us some banana plugs, so we'll plug these in and we'll test the output of the power supply with the multimeter. So positive to positive and black to negative. So so bring our multimeter those straight into the correct terminals and we'll turn it on to voltage direct current so as I've said there are two controls a coarse control and a fine control so basically the coarse control increases the voltage in larger steps and the fine control allows you to fine tune those steps to a more accurate voltage so let's apply a little bit of current not very much but a little bit and let's turn the voltage course button until we get let's say 2.2 but then we can fine tune it up to 3 let's adjust that slowly until we get near a 3 and let's see how accurate it is with the meter. So, so once we've got three volts on the supply, as you can see, we've got 3.041 volts on the meter, which I think is pretty good for a budget entry level meter like this. Um, you do have to tweak the fine control to get it to exactly where you want it but like I say for a low end model that's not a big hardship is it let's see turning it down see when it drops there we go so say it's a fraction of a, a volt but otherwise pretty good 0 0.031 out so there we have it, a basic budget entry level power supply, but for the average hobbyist, what more do you need? Hi, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you'd like to see more, please click the video over here. Also, why not subscribe to our channel? We release videos three times a week on subjects about electronics, making things, building things, just having a good time in the workshop. So why not click the button below and subscribe. Thank you.